he was a, an artist in, in the shape, in the form, in the color. And there was never a face of a man or a face of, of a woman, old or young, that was not filmed with a great respect for the beauty. And this for me is, is really important. I think it, it makes a big difference with just making image, you know. He was a searcher, you know, he was searching and he was influenced by so much the the oh, my English is horrible today. He was listening to the world, although he was questioning the spirituality of life in the making of his film. I don't know. I'm not him. Maybe, maybe pretension is there. I don't know. But I always see a sign of looking, I would say looking for beauty. It sounds ridiculous to brusque the editing, to collapse the editing, to make, not to obey to the law of editing, but to obey to the law of feeling and sensation, impression, I don't know. The first memory I have of a Godard, of Jean-Luc Godard movie is my mother. I was not in, we were mostly, we were living in Africa with no theater. My mother so breathless. And I remember her coming home and telling me and my sisters, I've seen a film that is from a new world, something completely different. And it changed completely my sensation about film watching in a good way. She was blown up. She said, I never seen such uh, actors so natural and good looking and and the way they were speaking. I mean, my mother was crazy about Breastless. So I saw Godard movie as, as soon as I could, of course, you know. Yeah, it was not even a new film when I saw it, you know. But it was, I still think every film I saw from Jean-Luc Godard from then on till the last one, Le Livre d'Image. I think for me, Le Livre d'Image, the last one I saw. The last one. I saw it on a screen and also as an exhibition, both. I think everything seemed to me above modernity, above being modern or not modern, you know? Let's say like uh, someone digging a trench in movie material and trying to build a different path, maybe. Also Le Petit Soldat, in a way, it's a love story. A very sad one, but it's a love story. I was offered to make a film and I, I was thinking about the foreign legion. And while I, when I had finished the script, I thought the best for me, as if it has been there, the best thing I could do would be to have the master at arms, the commandant to be interpreted by Michel Subor. It's the name of Le Petit Soldat, Bruno Forestier. And I thought because at the, petit, at the end of Le Petit Soldat, you run away after shooting that guy in the street. You, you said, I still have time in front of me. I thought after leaving the French army, killing a guy in Switzerland, maybe the best was the foreign legend. Together with his uh, sense of humor, sometimes a little bit cruel, he, he, he has his irony, you know, when he was speaking to people. I've heard when he was shooting detective and he could be horrible to people sometime on the set. I, I was there on a the set a few days, but horrible in a way. It was cruel, so much attention toward him. And in a way, jealousy, you know? And you see, when he died, it was like a big shock here, you know? 